Let's stand together. Jeff's going to lead us in a number. Sing along with us. All right, guys. Page 408. We'll do Joy to the World. Joy to the world. kind of funny we sing the first verse and everybody's all nice and loud then it seems like on the second verse only half the people really remember that and all of a sudden it gets a little quiet and then the third verse everybody picks back up oh yeah i remember that one <laughs> all right we'll do the first verse and have the ushers come joy to the world the lord is come let her Tonight's offering goes to uh, Brother Charlie and Sister Doris. We love and appreciate them for uh, putting up with those little devils. I mean, those little saints over there. Like some of them, you got halos over their heads. I tell you what, we love and appreciate them. So everything you give tonight uh, goes to uh, goes to them. Uh, Brother Les, would you pray for us this evening?
Let's give Brother Charlie a hand as he comes and leads this play tonight. You would think after 53 years I wouldn't be nervous. <laughs> but I am, as usual. The, the, the reason for it being you never have a clue what some of these guys will do, you know. But we love it, and, and, and at the end it all comes out fine. Uh, to begin with tonight, we have a special little treat for you before the program starts. Uh, years ago, we done a play in Hathaway in the manger, and Roger mentioned uh, our uh, Brother Roger, all of you know Brother Roger. He mentioned that was his favorite song was Away in the Manger. Yeah. And uh, through the years, I've always tried to find a Christmas play with Away in the Manger in it just for that particular purpose. But I couldn't this year. So I've done one just a little bit better. And I'm going to ask Charlie's angels if they'll come up. But now you'll have to remember, when the devil was kicked out of heaven, he took a third of the angels with him. The name of the play tonight is Good News Ahead. And of course, you know what that good news is. That Jesus Christ was born, came 
to this earth to be born on Christmas Day, 30 some years later to be hung on a cross for our sins. So you pray for these young folks as they do the play this night. Get ready to go. Christmas? No, no, Christmas is fine, I guess. But this manger and stable thing again? I love this tradition. It's a sign that Christmas is coming. I'm so glad our class does this. Right up there, we're putting up the tree, Christmas music, snow, and hot cocoa. That's what I mean, the same old, same old. Don't you just get tired of it? No. Merry Christmas, kids. Great to see you here. Is that Mr. Terrell? Our school crossing guard? What is he doing here? <laughs> well, hello, Sienna. Merry Christmas. Hi, Mr. T. Hi, Mr. Terrell. I didn't know you worked here. Season's greetings, Kelsey. You can't be in school all the time now, can you? So I volunteer to lead kids through the nativity. It's just like the school drop-off plan, only here we watch out for camels, not cars. What a fun place to work. <coughs> Makes sense. No school, Christmas vacation. At least Christmas is a good break from school. And a joyous snow to you, Brett. Are you ready for the tour? As ready as I'll ever be. Fantastic. Now I will. No. Line up and follow the signs to move on and journey to Bethlehem. 
Mr. Terrell, I've always wondered why baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Wasn't Jerusalem the most important city? Excellent question, Kelsey. Uh, this tour could take an eternity. I certainly hope so, Brett. Now, about Bethlehem. Did you know there are many many signs in the Old and New Testament that point to Bethlehem as the birthplace of Jesus? We just studied that in our Sunday school class, in Micah, chapter 5. But you, Bethlehem, or I have, though you are small among the clans of Ju Judah, out of you will come from me a ruler over Israel, whose origins are from, old, from ancient times. Great job, Hannah. But how did Mary and Joseph get there, or even know they should go to Bethlehem in the first place? Could that just have been a coincidence? I know that one, too. It's in the book of... To summarize, the verse says that the Romans demanded that every person get counted, so they had to go to their hometowns to sign up. After we, and what do you suppose was Joseph's hometown then? Bethlehem. Exactly. Isn't it just like God to work things out? Even though Joseph and Mary just had to go to Bethlehem, and the timing just happened to be while Mary was expecting baby Jesus. Could that just have been a coincidence? True, it could have, but let's follow a few more signs before you make up your mind. After all, there's a Roman citizen since this end away, and we need to get moving towards Bethlehem. But as you may know from the Christmas story, there was no hotel room for Joseph and Mary. So they ended up in a stable. Uh, That's not a good sign. After baby Jesus was born, they wrapped him up tightly in swaddling clothes. and made him a bed in the manger. 
a feed trough for the animals. An important detail, right, Mr. T? Very much so. You know what I've always wondered? Oh boy. What's that, Kelsey? How do they know what to name the baby? Sienna, do you know this one? Yes! Of course she does. <laughs> In Matthew 1, 20, an angel told Joseph about the baby Mary was expecting. The angel said, she will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Well done, Sienna. Did you know the angel was referring from the verse from the Old, Te the Old Testament? In Isaiah it says, the Lord himself will give you a son. Look, the virgin will conceive a child and will give birth to a son and will name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. A sign? That's so cool. Now that's the Christmas spirit, Kelsey. What do you think of that, Brett? It's cool, I guess. Do you have a different opinion? Actually, I think it's sort of beautiful. <coughs> Our mighty God and Father sent us his only Son to give the world a Savior to be the concrete one separated by our sin. Love came near to bring us back to him. Thank you. 
north of Bethlehem. Hang on to your hats. I believe we're about to see some shepherd. Watch out for the sheep. Shepherds? Do you ever think about being a lonely shepherd? How scary it would be to see the angels just sitting there in the dark? And then bam, see angels. I love those verses. What verses? That night there were shepherds in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. And lo, an angel of the Lord came upon them, and they were sore afraid. And the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. You learned every possible Bible word, didn't you, Sienna? Maybe. What did the angel say again? Fear not. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which should be to all people. For unto you, born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Now let us go to Bethlehem. A seenest thing has come to pass. Which the Lord has made known unto us. Watch nearby the star that's shining bright. Can you see it? If you lay in Bethlehem, just like the prophet said, there in the manger. The shepherds raced into Bethlehem to see if what the angel said was true. Look, a sign, just like the angel said. A babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Then the shepherds went back to the flocks, glorifying and praising God for what they all have heard and seen, just like the angel had told them. What verse is that? Luke 2.20. Well, amazing, wonderful, and there you have it. So that's it. You're just saying Christmas is over. Oh, but this is just the beginning of the story. God sent us Jesus at Christmas, but that was just the first part of the whole road trip. Jesus grew into a man, worked miracles, healed people, taught about God's love, showed us how to live and how to love God back. Then according to God's plan, Jesus was put to death on a cross. The whole reason he was born was to die. Jesus died and took the punishment for everything we have ever done wrong. 
God put down the signs of what would happen all through the Bible. But that wasn't the last sign, was it, Mr. T? Not at all. Jesus rose back to life. That signified his victory over sin and death. And he told us there was only one way to heaven, and that's by believing in God's son. sort of happened? Just happened. No, there are plenty of signs all throughout the journey that showed us. There were plenty of signs all throughout. Tell us what the sign said, kids. That there would be a Messiah who would take away our sin. Who would be born in Bethlehem. His name would mean a Savior and God with us. And he would and he would give his and he would give his life on a cross and then come back to life. And the reason for all of it, the reason for Christmas, is that God loves us. Oh yeah, I've got this one. John three sixteen says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's right, Sienna. There's only one way to heaven, and that's by believing in God's son. What do you say, Brett? I say all the signs of Christmas have pointed me to Jesus. Yay. Yay.
Who says Free Will Baptists don't have rhythm? Yeah. Amen. Great job tonight. Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. We never want to dismiss a service without giving an invitation, but we love and appreciate the message that was shared tonight, uh, that Jesus Christ came to earth for one reason, to die for our sins. If you're here tonight, you've never done that. We would love to give you that opportunity. Uh, you're here tonight, you've never received Jesus. That's what uh, this is all about. And if you have never done that, uh, we would give you that opportunity. Uh, God, we love you. We thank you for all that was done here this evening. Thank you for all the workers, and all the, the kids that put in the time for this play. Uh, what a wonderful job singing and the play and the, the message that was given tonight. Lord, if there's one here that uh, doesn't have a relationship with you, God, I pray that they would get that. And Lord, I thank you tonight for coming to this earth for our sins saving us, uh, Lord, that we could spend eternity with you. Lord, uh, just have your way in every heart and life here tonight. Bless all the kids on this stage. Help them to glorify you as they grow up in all that they do. And keep you first. In Jesus' name, amen. As we sing. give these kids another hand for a great job. You know, <clears throat> I guess when you get old, you kind of reminisce a little bit and think of things. Standing back over here, I remember been several years ago, Cadence was in the play, and she wanted to have a curtain call at the end of the play so they could come out. So guys, take a bow back here, your curtain call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some folks that helped make this possible tonight. Becky, sitting back here, yeah. back in the back, prompting. Yeah. Debbie and Bill Frazier stepped in at the last minute. We had, Phyllis and Bob have been helping us all along, and both of them are homesick. Oh, so I called Debbie and Bill, and they decided to come in. So Debbie run the, the video, and Bill run the, the, the uh, 
spotlight, so we appreciate them. And what would we do without Ryan? I'll tell you. He does it all. Yeah, yeah. Well, and what would well. I do without Doris? Thank you. And I think we're going to go get pizza after church. What do you say, guys? We good? All right. They'll be loading up to go in about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, they'll take your kids, and uh, I don't know how long they'll be gone. Probably about an hour and a half. So hour and a half. Okay, yes, we could get some fellows to come help reset the stage. That would be great. How about Eden helping us out here? Did a great job. Appreciate all that Eden did. She, she did all the choreography. Did a great job. Uh, don't forget, uh, we will have service not Wednesday night, but Tuesday night at 5 p.m., a candlelight service on Christmas Eve. So hope you'll be there for that. And then I'll be back to regular service next Sunday. Any other announcements before we're dismissed? Cafeteria. All right, need some help over in the cafeteria and then need some help here on stage.